social connectedness or attachment to others, it really does depend on our sense of felt safety. We can go from one end of the spectrum to feeling very safe with someone to the other end of the spectrum where we don't feel safe at all. Some things that commonly happen when we are experiencing a sense of felt safety is that our body becomes relaxed, we feel peaceful, muscle tension might fall away, we're not really engaging in a lot of thinking, not the type of thinking that's trying to figure out what should I say, is it okay to say this, I better monitor this, because that sense of connectedness allows us to just freely flow in our thoughts, our feelings, and behaviors. What we notice about the body is that it becomes relaxed, our digestion is easier, our sleep, our breath, comes easier, our heart rate stays lower, our immune response is good. And so building up sort of a bank of experiences with people you feel safe with is important because when we have moments where we get to the other end of the spectrum, where we're not feeling safe, either physically or emotionally, it's good to have sort of that balance. So what does happen to us when we're not feeling safe emotionally with other people? Many of us might begin to be sort of hypervigilant. We begin to get tense. The heart rate increases. We might sweat. We might um, begin to feel hot. Our breathing may become more shallow. And we're having thoughts like, how do I get out of here? I better not say this or do that. We may be feeling anxious or angry or panicky. And I think the really important thing to know is that this isn't an either or, it's an and both. And it's a long spectrum of feeling safe and unsafe. So that even with people you feel very safe with, there may be times when somebody loses their temper and they raise their voice or have a tone of voice that causes us to feel a little less safe. And so we begin to think, oh my gosh, what should I do? Maybe I better leave them alone. No, I'm going to say this to try to fix it. So on that spectrum, it's important to know that we move back and forth with people all the time. The other piece that's really important to know is that it is a survival technique for all humans. We are always driving to try to be socially connected. And many of our experiences of fear or anxiety or anger or sadness really are about our disconnect or our inability to feel safe. So if we can consider that as we move through the world, that what we're seeking always is safety because we live to survive and to survive means to be connected to others. When we consider that in our feelings, our body sensations, our thoughts and behaviors, and start to look at our life through that lens, then we can begin to understand ourselves and each other more deeply.